Welcome to another Feed Scroll Generator video for Autodesk Inventor. This time I'm excited to tell you about a new feature which is actually a user request. We've had several users request the ability to create not multiple surfaces here, but a single surface defining the entire interior of the shaft. Why do we need to do that? Well, it's not because of surface continuity. These multiple surfaces are very continuous. You get lovely smooth transition between the surfaces. It's actually for CAM toolpath purposes. So some CAM softwares will struggle to create the transition or a toolpath that goes across multiple surfaces like this even if they are smooth and continuous and some CAM softwares won't be able to do it at all so we've um, we've added in the ability to create a single surface instead so if I switch over to this part here here's the same shaft but with a single surface defining the entire shaft so if I spin it round you can see it's nice and smooth we can do a zebra analysis on it uh, and it passes with flying colors if I just set uh, the something like that hopefully that's my good setting for a zebra analysis and we can see if I zoom in on some of these areas some beautiful clean uh, curvature. So how do we actually create these single surfaces? It's very straightforward. I just open up the uh, the designer with the current shaft. We'll see the settings that have been used to create this shaft and it is simply dragging the surface quantity to the minimum setting. So previously this would have created a shaft with maybe 15 surfaces at the minimum here but now we'll create one with a single surface and we can still use the accuracy slider here to uh, to get a shaft with the required precision. Another addition we've added uh, is the uh, prediction up here, the estimation of how long this shaft will take to generate based on the accuracy that I've defined. So, And also the ability here to view a graph of the previous build times based on the accuracy. So it can give you an idea of, okay, this shaft's gonna take about 20 minutes to create or something like that if you happen to be in a hurry. And if I hit smooth build here, I'll get a shaft out with a single surface, which I will be able to do the usual functions on. Uh, I'll be able to simulate it and it should make the cam guys job much easier down the line. I've created a couple of examples here to show you the kind of shafts uh, that can be created with single surface. It's pretty much any kind of shaft and in fact the, uh, the completely new and different algorithm that creates these single surface shafts actually has some advantages over the previous algorithm in terms of some really complex trimming that it can do uh, when you have uh, areas of a lower diameter here for instance. So it adds additional capability to help you bring to life all the shafts that you can design. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it.